everyone, I'm Martha, I'm a sexologist. Uh, yes, I really am one. Uh, so I'm a sex counselor. So tonight I want to share with you something very vulnerable. My first uh, porn, my first porn, the first porn that I watched. I uh, was first exposed to porn when I was five. And um, I knew it was a blue film because it was blue. And uh, in this film, there was this uh, handsome man, ooh, handsome. He walked into a forest and uh, not with a parang or anything, just, just I don't know how. And then he came across this cottage uh, with three beautiful women inside. So each night he proceeded to have sex with one of them. I couldn't really differentiate who was who. Um, but what I remember was that um, the woman would play with the thing between the legs that was of flesh color, but a bit darker, I think, from the thigh. And, um, and uh, so the person would just start stroking and stroking, <laughs> and it would get longer and longer, and it would try to put a mouth in, but then it would just get longer and longer and longer, and I kid you not, it was as long as a bamboo. <laughs> that was the porn that I watched, and so I was like, whoa. The penis really grows, huh? <laughs> so later on, when I grew up and people told me about sex, and you know, they say, oh, you know, the penis will grow. And I'm like, yeah, no oh, shit, eh? gross. <laughs> it really grows. And then uh, it will be painful. And I'm like, yeah, of course, pain. And then they'll be like, uh, you know, then it will go very deep. I'm like, yeah, deep. You know, it will go past the vagina and then the stomach and then to the heart. To just go into your heart. And then that's what they call the heart felt, heart felt orgasms, right? Heart felt orgasms. Because it touches your heart. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, heart felt orgasms. So I was really anticipating the day where I really see the penis in its full glory. Because after after that uh, clip, I, I never got to saw the penis again. Um, <laughs> because there was no internet back then. <laughs> uh, I watched it on a VHS. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding, this is a true story. Uh, so so uh, maybe I like bump into my you know uh, father trying to pee. But of course, you know, when you're peeing, it's not full glory. <laughs> so I was waiting for the day, you know, when I grow up and then I get to see it for the full glory, right? So I had my first boyfriend when I was 19, a bit a bit late, but it's true, uh, I was 19. And then my partner was like, hey, you want to uh, play with him? And I was like, uh, okay, today is the day. I must be brave, I must be brave. So I started to stroke, and I was like, stroke, very long time. And I was like, is everything okay? I was like, yeah, good, good. I was like, okay. Uh, then finally I got fed up, and I was like, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so I was waiting for this bamboo and I was very, very, very disappointed um, and that didn't happen. So uh, my point of it is um, um, sex education is, um, is, is not to be had in porn. I don't know how back then in VHS they can actually like film that, but <laughs> I, was, I was more intrigued than anything. It'll pierce through your heart and you know, through your organs and if they move around, then your organs, you know, will shake your world. But uh, no, that, 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 that's really um, my, my first... Uh, so yes, after that, everything was a letdown, right? It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't go that way. So uh, the moral of the story is, uh, the best sex you have uh, is in porn. Yeah! yeah.